All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I had some questions on the forums that I follow on Facebook for acrylic pouring about cracking in your paint. Um, and I wanted to uh, bring that up today and, and hopefully help other people from uh, experiencing this problem. Now, this is one of my earlier paintings when I first started. And if you see right here uh, in these corners, I have a lot of cracking right here, okay? Um, it goes all the way through this, uh, especially in this dark blue paint. Um, got some over here as well. It's, it's not real deep. I mean, you can see from across the, the, uh, the end like that. It's, the cracks are not that deep. But the problem is, is that because it's a white background, um, you will see that show through the dark colors very, um, very much. So... Anyway, uh, what caused this was uh, the, uh, the couple paints that I had on here were old paints and also I used the paint that was too thick. Um, and then as the paint dries, the top layer starts to dry faster than what's underneath obviously because that's the part that's exposed to the air. And as that dried, the, as it started to go down, the underside started drying and started pulling apart and cracking like this. Um, now this was a pour that was done with only water. Um, I didn't use any kind of uh, pouring medium in this, and this was just a trial thing that I wanted to do. Um, and you see the results, it just, it did not work for me. So uh, my personal preference is I love to use the pouring mediums because they have those binding agents um, that allow the uh, paint to adhere better and stay together without the crazing or cracking. Uh, peeling things like that so uh, make sure that when you you mix your paints that all of your paints that you're going to do in your pour are all of the equal or very similar consistency so that when you pour it onto your canvas no matter what kind of pour you're going to do whether it's a dutch pour um, a, a ring tr uh, tree ring pour or um, a dirty pour or a flip cup whichever you're going to do you want all your colors to move in a fluidity that is similar to each other and that's a problem that i had here was that all my paints were not um they, they were not the same consistency, so to speak, so it just didn't flow that much. And some of this blue started rolling over the other colors, and then it was too thick, and then, like I said, as it dried, I just, I didn't pour enough of it off when I was tilting it, and it, it kind of just puddled in certain areas, and then just started to crack. So this is something that we want to avoid. So when you do your pours, make sure that you stretch that paint all the way across your canvas, get it as as thin as possible while still retaining the picture that you want in your center. So what we do to do that, we're going to start, we're going to tilt it and then bring that paint back to the center and then tilt it a different direction and then bring it back to the center. Tilt it this way, this way, however you want to tilt it, but always try to bring it back to the center so that you keep the picture that you want in the center um, of your painting here. But you want to get as much of that paint as smooth all the way across and the same thickness all the way across as you can. Um, some people will even, when they're putting your uh, frame down, they'll put something in the middle to hold the middle up so that the middle doesn't puddle because there's nothing really holding it here and paint is heavy so it tends to puddle closer to the middle and that's where people find a lot of their cracking is in the middle of their paintings. I'm not exactly 100% sure as to why I only got it on the edges. I think it has to do more with the paint on this one, um, but that is one of the reasons why. So I use my pouring medium from now on uh, as binding to, to keep the binding agents in mixed in with the paint, um, and I make sure that I spread the paint all the way across the canvas before I'm completed with it. And I've had much better results after I. Uh, have messed up a few of my paintings like this. Sure, we can go back and we can do other things around the corners and you know maybe paint something along there to cover that up. So it's the piece is not ruined, um, but I kept it as more of a uh, reminder of what not to do for me. So and there we have it. That is a couple reasons why um, your paintings might crack. So keep practicing, and I hope you. Do well in all of your future ventures. Thank you. Have a good day.